Hey guys, hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be going over how we can refurbish these plastic panels that tend to fade on these SL classes. As you can see, both of mine are in really rough condition. I tried sanding them down in preparation for what I'm going to do today, but honestly the best thing that you can do is go ahead and purchase yourself a set of black vinyl wrap and what I've already done is, since I've sanded them down, I'm basically going to clean them up, remove as much oil as I can possible from it, and then I'm going to go ahead and start installing the wrap over it and basically refreshing the look of this. Alright, so first thing that you need to do is grab some 800 grit sandpaper and basically sand this down until you have some nice little rough edges. I've already done that. The next step after you've sanded it down and a quick tip uh, before you start sanding is to tape off all these edges around it so you don't get a, a, any scratch marks on your paint or your windshield. After you've done that, I have a bottle of rubbing alcohol here and a clean towel that I'm going to be using. So basically just spray on your rubbing alcohol and then rub off as much of that grease and dirt as you can because the cleaner your application area is the more better of an end result you'll have all right so after i've cleaned it down i'm going to grab my vinyl wrap and i'm going to measure out how long it is so this one's about i honestly can't tell you but it's long enough and i'm going to try my best to be as efficient as possible with it try to salvage as much uh, extra vinyl wrap as i can because this isn't even half of uh, half as wide as you can see so i'm going to Try my best to cut down the middle and then use um, two of these uh, for both sides. But I'm going to make a cut along this top over here and then I'll cut it through the middle over there. Alright, so this is exactly one foot, so I'm going to start cutting it from the six inch mark. Some vinyl wraps, they have a nice little guide on them. So I'm just going to clean this up one more time because you can never be too sure. Nice and clean area, ready for the vinyl wrap. So I have my vinyl wrap right here. I am simply just going to remove the paper that's holding the sticker but I'm going to do this pretty All right, so now that you have it in place, uh, make sure it's even and it's all sitting on there. I'm just gonna press my little squeegee onto the little seam so I know exactly where I'm gonna be cutting. So I'm not really worried about cutting through this and hitting the weather stripping and just cut the top part and you should be fine. So I'm just basically gonna be using the guide here
and press it all down. So that's basically done. All I have to do is clean it up. And here you guys go, a nice little before and after. Here's the before, looks really, really bad and dated. Here's the after, looks brand new. And honestly, for a $7 fix, this isn't bad at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And then as soon as I'm done doing the other side, I'm gonna apply Avalon King's Ceramic Shield just to protect these vinyl strips. And you want to glide your knife along the edge of it. By doing so, you'll be able to keep a nice little cut. All right, after laying it down, I'm just gonna nicely flatten it all out. Now I'm gonna make my cuts. Now all that's left is a nice little cleanup. And then to clean it up, what I like to do is I like to get my knife, run it along the edge like this. And it should work out perfectly fine. All right, now that we have cleaned it up, I'm gonna squeegee out all the bubbles, peel off the plastic. Looking way better than before. And there you go. Yeah. So a quick note, this vinyl does scratch very easily. But I will say with vinyl, most vinyl, what you can do is you can heat it up and then it'll resolve the problem with the scratches. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these down and apply my Avalon King Ceramic Shield. So I'm gonna Wipe this side. Now we grab our Armor Shield 9 and we're gonna apply it on to these vinyl wraps. So here is my little terry cloth. I'll wipe it onto it. Get the whole entire thing top to bottom. Get this side as well. Perfect. And now we wait four minutes and we'll wipe it down. I hope you guys found this video useful. I know it was a pretty short video. My next video, I have a ton of parts from VRP Speed that I will be doing a unboxing video of. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.